So if you haven't been paying attention, NVIDIA launches the 3080. Sells out instantly. Scalpers sell the 3080 for high prices on the internet. NVIDIA delays launch of 3070. 3070 is released. Sells out instantly. Radeon announces benchmarks for their GPUs. Beating NVIDIA 3070 and 3080. Radeon announces price point. No doubt about it, NVIDIA in trouble. This all started a couple weeks ago when I was talking about the best way to get a 3080 and I was telling you guys if you can't get the 3080 also just wait for the 6000 series big navi to come out because when it does you will have some competition on the market and be able to make a better informed decision and in fact one commenter even said I was a fanboy for saying that and meanwhile I'm rocking an RTX 2080 super in my system currently. The point I was trying to make if Nvidia can't give you what you need Radeon is also an alternative and they'll be coming out soon and now they're here and let's look at these slides. All this together seems seems pretty devastating for Nvidia and in fact if you follow any tech YouTubers probably every one of them is going to cover this and tell you the exact same thing that this is not looking good. The only person that this could actually hurt though is if you're a fanboy hopefully you're not a fanboy and if you're somebody like me you can take advantage of the market and the competitiveness that's happening here to get the best product for your money when we're going to spend 600 700 maybe even more you definitely want the best product for your money so consuming content which will help you make a more informed decision is the best way to go in my opinion so i hope this video helps you guys out and if you find value in this video hit the thumbs up give me that like and write down in the comments below what number like you are or that you appreciate the content so let's take a look AMD have decided to stay on their same 7 nanometer architecture with their new Radeon cards. This at first would seem like a bad move and would ultimately lead with Nvidia pulling ahead, except AMD Radeon claims that they were able to increase performance by 200% by decreasing wattage by 50%. Now we have two new features to look forward to which is Rage Mode and Smart Memory. Rage Mode basically is you click one click and then the GPU should optimize watts along with ramping up your fan speed which admittedly AMD said this will give you a performance increase, but not a huge amount. Smart memory though is very interesting. And I feel like this is really something you should be looking out for, although it comes with some caveats. Now, when you look at these benchmarks and you see these great numbers coming out of these 6,000 cards, you have to keep in mind that these are with both rage mode and smart memory. So therefore to get these actual benchmarks to utilize smart memory, you have to have a 5,000 series AMD chip. You have to have a 500 series and the chipset which is the newest motherboard along with the radeon card and it will allow the cpu and the gpu to coexist and share memory tasks and i just want that to be clear for a lot of people who are getting excited about this and are thinking they're going to buy a 6000 card to directly compete with nvidia and then it doesn't perform this is because you need the complete architecture and up to this date we do not know how these cards are going to perform without although amd was saying it could be a 10 to 15 percent increase with the smart memory and and something small like a two to the five increase with the rage mode. So adding those percentages together, along with the benchmarks that you saw earlier in the video, which I could show again, will be how AMD and Radeon are able to keep up with Nvidia. Am I saying you shouldn't buy these cards? Absolutely not. I'm not saying that. I'm saying they're better on a price scale. So even without these features, they may also still be better for you. Although we will not truly see these benchmarks until an embargo is lifted and your trusted YouTubers will be able to actually put out some benchmarks for you with the older Ryzen chips and the Radeon cards. Although it's all good news for someone who's moving forward and getting a complete PC built. Also another thing to note to keep in mind if you guys are interested in a 3090 competitor, the 6900 XT, the release for that card will be a few weeks after the initial release. So if you're more of the enthusiast, you might have to wait a little bit longer. My question is, I wonder if Nvidia will have their supply out by the time the 6900 XT actually releases. That's a good question. What do you guys think? You think NVIDIA will get their stuff together now that they see that they actually have a very competitive market? I mean, NVIDIA has been doing very good for a very long time. So I, so I feel like this may be a blind shot in the dark and it may force them to make some aggressive moves. Hopefully we see some more cards out before Christmas, although it's looking like the 3080 will not be really to public until January, which is depressing. Anyway, I'm super excited about this, guys. I wanted to make a video real quick, throw it up here so you guys had something to look at, maybe a different perspective. And if you like the content, please subscribe and hit that bell. We're doing tons of stuff over here, building computers. Aaron's live streaming all the time. Oh, Definitely staying active in the tech scene. Well, thanks for watching, guys. My name is Andrew, and this is Elite Gaming HQ. Thanks, guys. Damn it.